Hello everyone, I hope you're all good. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the bolt of Grand Sax at level one, and it's actually so easy, it's ridiculous. I can also confirm that through testing, this works on all platforms. I'm gonna show you the exact route I took, but before we go any further, it's not the way you think it is. I came across the legend that is Crazy Swain, who had a video on his channel about how to get to Lindell, Royal Capital City. So please go check him out, because he's got some sick videos on there, and he's a proper geezer. Anyway, Let's get into it. Starting with a new character, I went Wretch for the level one, make him look as beautiful as ever, and make sure you give him a sexy name. I've tried to make this video as quick, concise, and as easy as I can to follow. So there's not gonna be much torrent riding, but all locations are easy to get to just by following the road. And I'll show you the map and just a couple of little bits to look out for on torrent. So from the gate front site of Grace, we need to rest here and get torrent off Millennia and head west towards Stormvale up this small hill Take a right and rest at the Stormhill Shack site of Grace and speak to Millennia again. If you could just quickly bear with me though for about five seconds, I am feeling slight underdressed, so I'll be right back. Much better. Anyway, rest at the Stormhill Shack site of Grace and speak to Millennia. Exhaust her dialogue until she mentions there is a shard bearer at Stormvale Castle, then we're going to head to Kaelid. The reason I'm going to Kaelid for this bit is because it's the nearest grace that I could find to trigger the round table dialogue from Millennia, which is vital for this run and to do it this early. Just take my word for it because I have tested this multiple times. So after following the path, we just need to take a right and jump over the wall and we're going to rest at the Rockview balcony site of grace. Once Millennia turns up, accept the invite to the round table and do the whole holding hands thing and you'll be fast travelled to the round table hold. We're not staying here though, as we've got a couple of more steps to do before we head back. Return to the gate front site of Grace because we're now going to travel south towards the Tower of Return which is in the Weeping Peninsula. So jump on Torrent and stay on the path and I'll just show you the key turning points on the route. The first one, as you come towards the Broken Chariot and the Dopey Troll, you want to turn right and go up the hill, then go over the bridge to your right again. Then you want to stay close to the cliff edges and eventually turn left and just follow the path all the way down to the Tower of Return. Dodge the enemies and climb up the ladders and take out the one at the top and you'll see a chest in front of you which is actually a transporter trap. This is going to spawn you at the sleeping giant in Lindell Royal Capital. Once we're here, head up the steps and grab and rest at the Divine Bridge site of Grace because it's all about to get interesting now. We're going to head back down to the platform and I'm going to show you how to perform absolute wizardry. Like I said earlier, this works on all platforms and it is tested on PlayStation by Crazy Swain and I'm about to show you on PC. I did it on my missus's Xbox Series S as well. Basically, what you need to do is pull up the map and we're going to go to the round table hold. But when the loading screen comes up, you want to force quit right at this point before it gets to 100% and it's going to take you completely out of the game, whatever platform you're on. It took me a few tries on each platform, but as you can see, boom, we made it inside the capital of Lindell. And just to show you all the non-believers, I am still level one. Now let's go and get that bolt of Grand Sax. Follow me as we take a right here and we grab and rest at the Eastern Capital Rampart site of Grace. Talk to Millennia and exhaust the dialogue and follow this route I take on foot. I did die a couple of times attempting this, but after I've figured out the enemy dodging and the fastest route is actually well easy. Avoid the marshmallow heads and the disabled gargoyle, then jump over this first wall to the right and then onto the rooftops. Don't stop and look at anything or fight because you'll just die straight away. Hop onto the carriage and turn left and watch out for the Erdtree avatar that comes from the heavens. You will need to roll on that attack, then head right and grab the Avenue Balcony site of Grace. We're now going to go into the final stage of grabbing ourselves the Bolt of Grand Sacks, 
and for me, this was the most difficult bit. Just follow me as we make this short run out of the gate and then we're gonna go up the stairs, but be prepared to be hounded by a lot of enemies. When you reach the top of the stairs, you wanna turn slightly left and jump through the gap onto this rooftop and I'm gonna slow it down to show you exactly where to position yourself for this next jump. You need to aim yourself towards the little raised bit on this roof, hit the jump button and aim towards the corner of this ledge whilst pressing forwards. Jump again, hug in the column and then turn into it. This does all need to be done in one motion, otherwise you're gonna get hit a little bit like that arrow that nearly ended up in my backside. Finally, we can run straight up here whilst panic jumping like your life depends on it. And right at the top, bosh, We've got ourselves a bolt of Grand Sacks at level one, just as I promised at the beginning of this video. I was so happy the first time I got this because I wanted to try getting this weapon for such a long time so early on. Obviously being level one, we can't actually use this at the moment, but don't panic. I do have another couple of videos coming out over the next few days, but next week I will have a full video on how I leveled it up easily and sensibly with a full boss run just with this weapon. So there you go quick guide on how to get the bolt of grand sacks at level one i hope you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful feel free to check out some of my other elder ring videos on the channel and there's a lot more coming if you did enjoy the video maybe consider a like a cheeky sub and chucking that bell on for any upcoming videos cheers everyone see you later